Malfurion versus Maiev! None can escape my fury. I must protect the wild. Looks probably an excellent matchup. Are we keeping all of this? The taunts are really nice against Stroke. So are the snowbally minions though. Actually the buff also not that terrible. Let's let's try this hand. Let's see how it works out. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe maybe Mark, uh, maybe power of the wild is not really a keep, but when I can buff these two two times, I just automatically win the game, right? So and it's going to be hard for him to kill these minions. So hallucination indicates that he is miracle, but it doesn't guarantee it, right? What to do? Mm. I could go coin two drop into coin two drop into three drop. Hmm. That doesn't look powerful enough to me. Okay, now I can go for coin Crypt Lord into Crypt Lord. That enough value for the coin. Hmm. Yeah, the minions are more easy to combine with the spells, right, than the Crypt Lords. So I think it's okay to start out with the Crypt Lords. They're the hardest to remove anyway for the Rogue. Okay, sure. Pretty happy here, honestly. The scourge will devour all. We will devour this world. If he has Give me a quest. the Slayer, it's still fine, right? Form of dragon. This is not too crazy, right? So how are we, how are we dealing with these guys? Probably with the Direwolf Alpha, right? And then we are double buffing, I suppose. We definitely want our big taunt injured. And we trade one here. I think he can now almost never win anymore. Yeah. Tactics! Yay! We got that rank 5! And lose stars anymore. Malfurion <laughs> versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. I think Grace Alchemist is probably a keep together with Druid of the Swarm against Priest. My greeting. But I'm not. Sure. We will see. I wonder if I go for Christ Alchemist next turn. 
if he doesn't pain this one or I mean I'm for sure using it against the Doomsayer here, right? Oh yeah! That's pretty nuts actually. The value. You love my new recipe. And I saved the mark of the lotus definitely for the next turn, right? Too good here. Let the pain speak to me. Mm, power of the wild is definitely annoying. But so is my board here for him, right? I think we want patches close to the taunt in case of Dire Wolf Alpha. I should position the taunt to the left. But I actually I don't think it matters that much. Don't um, rush me. Again, trading here only really plays around um, Wild Pyromancer. I think I should just hit phase to set up for lethal next turn, potentially. He anyway already needs... what does he even need? Pain... Is pain even enough? We have 10, we have 20 damage. No, we have exactly 21. No, not more, not anymore. That probably means... what do we do then? <clears throat> mm. Do we still take the Savage Raw here? What to do? Make him clear this board? Wanna play around Holy Nova if possible. This one plays a little bit around Holy Nova, right? I think if he Holy Nova's here, we still have this, this, and one of these. So, we should have a chance. How much healing was that? Wow, and Galactic Crawler. The top decks. The top decks. Okay, let's see if he has two AoEs. He needs two in a row, right? If he has two AoEs in a row, then well played. Blessed be this funnel king. Nice, he didn't even have one. Protect the wild. Hmm, do you keep one mark of his charge? I think you do. I think it's that good in this deck. It's even nice if you cast it on a Firefly or something like that, right? On turn two. And it's completely nuts with something like a penguin. Ooh. It's not that great to have two of these though. He never has crawlers, right? So clearing is probably the best here. Even though we don't get weapon destruction value, still probably the best here. Just to take his pirates out against the potential coin uh, saucy. Just a pretty good move. Will 
Brotherhood shall come in. A six six seven. Ooh, Mark of the Lotus. Like that. So we can buff this with two, three, four, hmm, one, one too little. But I probably then wanna buff it by three. Speak your peace. And buff this guy, I think. And then I wanna damage this guy, right? I think that's the way I wanna do it. Backstep now clears it, but then we can still trade the 3 2. Oh wow, Predition's Blade. That's quite interesting. Savage Raw. Sure. Um, we don't have Lethal, do we? Hmm. Do we need to clear that Edwin? Dies against both his minions, right? I think we take the extra damage. What's he gonna do? He then cannot use the weapon anymore, right? This minion is lethal on the board. So what's he gonna do? He cannot slay her. And the Edwin also just dies. This guy's too ah, fuck. Nice. Enough. Now we need something. Uh. Well, at least that draws us a card. This is not that easy to kill for him. Okay, Savage Draw should be lethal next turn. And he should not be able to taunt here. So I think we have him. What taunt can he play? Only the tower creeper, right? That's the only thing he can have. The ship. Mm. Pirate. For a while. No play. Savage for all to open. So interestingly, trading into Edwin wins me one turn more early, right? And I win just the next turn. Maybe because of the card in my hand, I should have. Yeah, I should have traded. Rogues are so terrible against the aggro decks. Crazy. I must protect the wild. Like, what did they even do against the Druid of the Swarm? My greetings. Even if they get the Prince. <laughs> like, the Rogue's only good against... Oh! Unnatural. That's just an end. The Rogue's only good against... Um, Exactly, priest. Okay, so next turn, we have two options. Try to get value from Mark of his charge, or get the saucy captain. <clears throat> Let's coin the raven here. It should be impossible to remove both of these minions. So we should be able to get a mark of charge value here. Trust. 
past the pirate's code. Mm. Let's do this. I don't have enough mana. And probably this one to the far left. This deck just feeds on the rogues, I think. But so does the zoo. So I'm not entirely sure why everybody is playing the rogue and isn't seeing that there are hard counters. Iron Warrior should also be pretty good, right? This guy's toast. Ooh, penguin. Um, so how are we killing the SI? Are we even killing it? I wonder. We need Mark of the Lotus here, right? To win the game instantly. Or we need to play these two together. That doesn't quite work out. There's the Mark of the Lotus. Too good now, right? Oops. I actually messed up. Uh, I thought I could play the mark for those. Oh boy, the misplays. Let's see, hopefully, not exactly backstab as I. Yeah, this works, that's fine with me. Trust the pirate's code. I am a child, my eyes. Smart moves, I concede. I've got the smart moves. My beloved Tyrande. Hmm. I think against Priest, I want to hardcore go for the Enchanted Raven. And probably even Mark of Hisharge. I think against Priest, I shouldn't keep the Firefly. Yeah, this works. My greetings. The only question is if I play both of these on turn one, but that opens up the that opens up the hmm. Actually, I can maybe hmm. No, I think he cannot really do anything about this, so I'm going to play this. If he coins pain now or uses a um. Whatever the card name is. Ooh, I'm definitely playing the top deck one here. This is too good. <laughs> this is too good. The salt. Hmm, I think I buff it to four attack. Not to five because of pain, even though I'm drawing a card. Your peace. Are we playing around MCT? Does it set up for lethal with Savage Raw? Let me check. So we have seven damage here, eight with the with the flame elemental, and then we get another ten from Savage Raw. Just eighteen, so it doesn't set up for lethal. Um want a buff target next turn. Hmm. Plays into MCT, but MCT is really uncommon in the priests, so I think. And it's only like 25% chance here to Ragnar with MCT, right? He has to steal exactly the penguin. Ooh. 
Ooh, double Savage Raw, alright. So that means next turn has to be Savage Raw, right? Unless he clears it all somehow. Then we have to go for Living Mana. This one always hits face. Do we want to play around pain so that this one trades? How good is Shadow Word Pain? Is Shadow Word Pain still lethal for me? So this one always hits face. Um, so I put him down to 15. Let's say he pains and heals. Um, that puts him to 17 and I have these guys with wait no only one guy two of these so that's I think I should play around playing here then Next turn is Dragonfire Potion, right? What to do? Can it ever be living mana here? Into the Dragonfire. Would he have used Dragonfire last turn? He still holds the coin, right? How can I set up for lethal though? Not really any way, except for the living mana. Time waits for no one. Living mana always sets up for lethal. So it's Dragonfire Potion. I think he would have used that last turn. Let's do it like this. Two damage here, right? A natural mistake. Hmm. Yeah, that buys him a turn. For sure. I think I take one damage here over the Firefly. It's really only... No, it can also be Pine Sized Potion Shadow World Horror, right? That also helps him, yeah. How good is Coin Undoing? Not good enough, right? He gains 11, this one dies. No, I have 3 mana then for the Savage Shore. Coin Undoing. Um, this is not going to be good enough, right? Even a coin silence or coin what else can it be? It is finished. Still weak. 